Hello Forge fans! This is Falco again from the German YouTube channel Zocket. In this video we are going to cover a very central part of the game that each of you will use sooner or later, consciously or subconsciously. The inventory. What is it used for? And how do you use it correctly? But before we dive into the topic, please subscribe to this channel to never miss any exciting video content about Forge of Empires. You can access the inventory via the context menu at the bottom left. Here you have two tabs to choose from. The actual inventory and your stock. The stock shows you how many goods you currently have in each age. Also your metal stock and in higher ages also your stock of special goods. By the way, if you play in the browser on the PC, you have three more tabs. Two tabs are kind of filter for your inventory, where only certain items are displayed. And the last tab shows you your blueprints. In the actual inventory, you'll find all sorts of items. This ranges from forge point packages, utility items like boosts and accelerators, various kits to apply to your city's buildings, crates and rewards from events that hold even more items, to fragments of buildings and entire buildings. You'll gather all these items in different places in the game. For example, the daily and main prices you receive in events are placed in your inventory, as are all prices in game modes such as guild expeditions or guild battlegrounds, with the exception of resources. Also forge points you get from patron rewards and great buildings you will receive here. And finally, you can even manually store buildings in your inventory by applying store building kits to them. You can also use most items in some way via the little hammer icon. For example, it will add forge points to your forge point bar and place buildings in your city. The second button, depending on the item, is a trash can for removing an item from your inventory without leaving any residue or a hand with coins which places the item in the antiques dealer's sales menu where you can sell it for trade coins and gemstones which in turn can be used to buy new items which are also credited to your inventory. Whereas with some items you may be sure you don't want to sell or delete them. To avoid the risk of accidentally selecting them for the antiques dealer or clicking on the trash can, you can lock them. Enter the lock mode by activating the check mark next to the lock in the upper right corner. Now you will see these lock icons under all items for which you can activate it. If you activate them, a lock will be displayed for the corresponding item in the inventory instead of the trash can or selling hand. Also, the items will no longer be listed in the drop-down menu in the antique dealer. If you are looking for a specific item, you can use three filters. On mobile on the far left is a classic search box. In the browser, you find the search box on the right side. If you know the name of the item, you can enter it or just a part of it into this field and press a magnifying glass to search for it. This is, of course, the most precise search tool. However, if you are not sure of the name of the item, you can at least narrow down the results with the other two check marks. In the browser version, there are no check marks, but you have two more tabs with the same functionality. If the left check mark is activated, all buildings will be displayed. If the right check mark is activated, all items will be displayed. If you know whether you are looking for a building or an item, you can simply deactivate the other category. These will then no longer be displayed, which should speed up your search considerably. If you want to have all items displayed again, simply activate both check marks. If you want to know more about how store building kits work to get buildings from your city into your inventory, please check the dedicated tutorial video in our playlist which will explain this in more detail. If you have any feedback or suggestions regarding the inventory, feel free to write them in the comments below this video. So, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the bell to not miss any more Forge of Empires videos. See you soon!